guys, today we have a vlog. I'm going to do a vlog to keep myself a little bit focused today to get the jobs done in the day. I think it, I think doing these regular segments uh, in video form do help do help me actually stay focused. So I'm going to do a vlog even though I don't normally do one. Um, I've got the lockup to go to. I've got to go to town. I've got uh, parcels to drop off in town as well. I've got to do some eBay sorting. I need to get some sorting done for eBay. I need to get some good listing done for eBay, like I mentioned in Thursday Talks. And doing this vlog, as I say, will just keep that goal in mind and keep me focused and keep me pushing on. Um, also, you'll see by the title of the video, I've been having some distressing Amazon trouble recently. I'll put a screenshot there. Basically, you'll see on the screenshot, um, uh, yesterday morning, I woke up to this screen, uh, this screen on my Amazon app. Um, our viewer account is at risk of deactivation, um, and also it said like your order defect rate is above the target of 1%. It was something like that. Anyway, I don't know exactly, um, but you'll see in the screenshot. Anyway, I'm going to do a proper segment for that within this vlog, so stay tuned for that. I'll talk about that a little bit more. Very, very distressing. Uh, not a very good situation to be in. Um, it was just, it, it was very, very hard when I checked my Amazon app and thought, oh my God, you know, I, I was really, I was shocked, you know, I was actually genuinely shocked. And when it's your business at stake like that, it is really kind of shocking. But anyway, I'll talk about that in another segment. Today, today let's get on with the vlog anyway. Let's get down to my lockup, get some stuff. And uh, yeah, we'll get on with the day. So I know you guys probably haven't seen the lockup in a while. It's kind of just a dumping round at the moment for stuff. This lot here, well, this on the top here is just like tip stuff that wants to go in, except that. Probably sell, well I don't know, I might sell that, I don't know. Um, but yeah, so there's just loads of random stuff. I'm getting some stuff for eBay today. Um, so yeah, oh I've got that weird trolley as well, which um, from the auction, which is pretty cool. I've seen different ones go for like, well there's ones that have gone for like 40 quid and then there's ones that have gone for 80 quid, I'm not sure of the difference. Um, but yeah, so I'm going to grab some um, toys and stuff from in here and random boxes up here. Um, and then I'll get home and get processing some stuff. Some magazines down there I like the look of as well. I might grab some of them. Um, so yeah, it, it, it's kind of, it's not actually that full. It looks quite, you know, it looks like there's stuff on the floor and everything. But to be honest, if this was tidied onto the shelves, it's not actually that full at all. Um, I just need to actually dedicate a little bit of time for a bit of a tidy. I might actually do that now, you know. Uh, I might just whack some of the, this stuff on the shelves and that and just give it a little tidy. I don't know, I might do. Um, and then it just kind of condenses it down a little bit and gives me some more room back again. Um, but yeah, so it's not actually that full, it's just messy. Just like five minutes, literally, of just taking this stuff off the floor and reorganizing it. And there's loads of space back in here. You know, I've got loads and loads of floor space. Um, and yeah, now I can start working through it properly. So it's just better to have it a little bit more organised. It was just like a proper dumping ground a minute ago. Even though it's not much more organised, it's just a little bit better. Oh, and then there's that massive painting that I got from the auction. Uh, yeah, don't don't ask me about that. I don't even want to talk about that. That was, yeah, that, that was just a stupid mistake. Anyway, moving on. Now, make sure you put your seatbelt on. You all right there, bugs? Looks like he felt the G-force a little bit. Right then, this is the stuff from the lockup in the spare room. Uh, I'm going to sort that later on, but the next job is town. Right guys, I'm in town. I'm going to do some charity shops. I've dropped the uh, post off as well, which is awesome. Uh, so yeah, I'll get around the charity shops. I'll do a little bit of footage, but I won't get loads. And then it's back home and I've got to do some sorting.
just logged into my merch account before and uh, you can see there yesterday Friday I don't think it's gonna focus in very well Friday the 25th of May I got a sale which is awesome and the royalty was five dollars and thirty eight cents so that's pretty cool so hopefully there'll be many more coming in the next few days right then back from town now I'm gonna get on and sort some of this stuff so guys, I've uh, just finished basically uh, sorting out some stuff. I haven't done my photography yet, so I still need to do that. I've got like 17 items I've sorted, which is pretty decent because considering over the last few days I've been sort of doing 10, I've had days where I've been doing 8 listings, things like that, and I've had the odd day where I've not been doing any listings. I think 17 is respectable. I might sort a few more just to maybe get close to that 20 or get to that 20 and then I feel like I've really uh, made progress today. But yeah, so I wanted to talk to you about the basically the topic of this video, which is my Amazon account being deactivated or, you know, supposedly being deactivated. That's what it said when um, I, it greeted me on the Seller app when I woke up. And uh, basically, I jumped out of bed, got on my computer and thought, right, what, you know, I needed to get on Seller Central and see what's happening. I realized that it was the order defect was due to a negative feedback and I looked at the negative feedback and it was an absolutely stupid mistake on my part. What I had done is I had actually, it's quite well, I referred to it as the best and worst negative feedback I've ever re received because it's so funny but it's so annoying at the same time. Anyway. Uh, so the negative feedback said something like, I can't remember it exactly, but it said something like, um, I ordered this for £37 and I find it very cheeky um, that I received it with a 9 99 sticker still attached. And at the time, yesterday morning, I couldn't laugh at it, but now I can kind of laugh at that feedback. It, it is a terrible, stupid mistake on my part, but it's probably the most funny negative feedback I've received. Anyway. Um, so basically, I uh, get on the live chat and I just type in to the person on the live chat, I think she's called like Lynn, Linda, Linda or something, anyway. I like to know the names, I like to remember the names anyway. I'm on live chat often enough with Amazon and eBay. But um, yeah, anyway, so um, I think it was Linda. I uh, basically just said to her, um, you know, what's the best course of action I can take right now to help save my account? Um, because at that moment, I wasn't thinking that I could get this feedback removed. I thought that that feedback was just going to be on there permanently and I've got to try and go, out, go about this in a different way to save my account. So I was completely oblivious to the fact I, that getting that feedback removed was an option. Anyway, uh, she then said to me after a bit of conversing um, that she will send uh, like a, a request to the feedback removal team or something uh, to get that feedback removed and I said well what's the kind of chances of me being able to get that removed she couldn't really respond with an answer because it wasn't her department that's what she said um, but she said hopefully you know you're you'll get an outcome that you would like so um, anyway I um, I did that obviously and at this moment, I was thinking, well, I might not get this removed, I might not. I messaged a couple of people who I had known had had kind of this sort of uh, issue before, or a similar issue, and uh, I thought to myself, right, well, I might have to do something else. So I got moving a little bit, and, you know, when the going gets tough, the tough get going. I tried to figure out ways around it other than if, you know, if the feedback couldn't remo be removed, I tried to figure out ways around it. But anyway, uh, basically last night I had an email, I had actually, well, backtracking a little bit more, um, basically after the live chat, I uh, found out that, we, that there was a button, basically I was talking to someone and uh, they said to fill, it, fill out a form, however I actually found a button and um, I clicked this button saying remove feedback or whatever it was, it's something like that, I'm not sure, or request feedback removal. I clicked the button and within a second there was a light, oh, hi Electra, oh, Electra's on the fence, um, I told you she's very adventurous. So within a second of me clicking this remove feedback button or whatever, there was a line through the feedback and it was saying this feedback um, is not adhering to our policies so we've removed it for you. And then as I say, last night I got an email saying um, we have successfully removed our feedback um, and then it said like because it due to it like not adhering to Amazon policies or something 
um, and any defect has been removed from your account or whatever or will be removed from your account now this is the issue I'm having at the moment the defect is still on my account so basically um, what I'm think is, thinking is maybe go on the live chat again or maybe email Amazon and uh, just to kind of push them uh, to see that you know the defect hasn't been removed so it needs to be removed they've said it will be removed so maybe it's just a matter of waiting 24 hours or something but because of the seriousness of the situation I think I do need to contact them again just to make sure that they have eradicated it and all is well but that was very scary like waking up to basically a notification on your phone saying your account is at risk of being deactivated that is scary and I would not wish that on anyone um, but luckily it was okay in the end um, a little bit of drama a little bit of a little bit of kind of uh, touch and go or whatever you want to call it um, but you know I'll, I'll always fight for the survival of my business I'll always try my very best and uh, you know if, if you do something that you're really really passionate about you're gonna fight for it and you're gonna get through these issues even if the worst happens even if the worst happens it doesn't matter you're gonna move on and you're gonna find new ways of maybe doing the same sort of business anyway so you know worst comes to worst I just go down the car boot every Sunday I get a market stall and I'm completely an offline reseller but I'm still reselling you see so there's always ways around things even if the absolute worst happens but it's just about applying yourself and getting through these situations but anyway I'll leave it there guys, thank you very much for watching, I'll end the vlog here as well, not much else to talk about today, and I will see you in the next one.